<laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to New York State Bridge Authority meeting, November 17, 2016. Uh, we have uh, our am amended agenda today that uh, let me just uh, highlight what the amendment is on the business items, engineering and maintenance, uh, the first um, resolution. Bynello Bridge Inspection Bridge Services Bid Results, BA 2017 RE 103S. It's going to be pulled. We'll bring it back at a later date. And also on financials, a correction. Uh, we're going to include correction of resolutions for the internal control system auditor to be included. Uh, please, someone make a motion to have that be amended to our agenda. Today. Move to accept the amended agenda. Second. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. Say aye. 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 And before we proceed, uh, let me just introduce everybody. There are Commissioner Rob Dessel on our left hand side. We have our Deputy Executive Director, Mr. Tara Sullivan. We have Diane Jumblowski. Jumblowski, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the Commissioner. We have uh, Mr. Roger Hagan, uh, the Commissioner. We have Mr. <laughs> Henry Stanton as our commissioner. Good afternoon. We have <laughs> Carl Whitback as our attorney. We have our executive director, Mr. Joseph Ruggiero, and myself, Richard Jarantine. All right. Yeah, Richard Jarantine. <laughs> <laughs> In saying all that, let's move forward. Uh, adoption of regular meeting of October 20th, 2016. So Second. Second. And we also I have around the way now. You might have better it should delete my name on the front. I wasn't in attendance. Oh. Okay. Yep. Kelly. Please yeah. note. <laughs> someone else make a second? Please. Second. You want to move as amended? Yes, please. Yep. Move minutes as amended? Second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Also, too, on the right hand side and left hand side, we have our department heads. Uh, they do, do a great job that are present at the meeting today. Uh, first item of business, administration and human resources. Uh, Mr. Robert. Good afternoon. I have uh, one item under administration, uh, and that's uh, we're requesting to uh, adopt the uh, extended uh, New York State OGS fuel contracts. Uh, back in uh, December of uh, 2014, the board resolved to adopt uh, the fuel contracts for diesel, gasoline, and, and, um, and uh, heating fuel uh, as uh, awarded by New York State Office of General Services. Uh, those contracts are due to expire uh, this month and next, <coughs> and OGS uh, elected to extend those contracts to the existing suppliers uh, for another two years out to uh, August uh, of 2018 uh, for the diesel and fuel and uh, out to December of 2018 for unlit gasoline. Uh, so accordingly, I'm asking uh, the board to go ahead and uh, accept those extended dates and allow us to continue to purchase under those existing uh, contracts with the current vendors. So moved. Second. Discussion. Robert, uh, regarding that, uh, yep. Usually, state bid is very inexpensive, very competitive. Um, we found out with SALT for the county that the uh, Dutchess County bid it independent of the state, and they were able to get SALT at a very reduced rate compared to the state bid. So just be cognizant right. of that and fact. And yeah, and we have done that as well with the SALT. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Um, with the fuel, um, basically what they do is they put out a, uh, a memo uh, early in the year when they're ready to do a procurement and they <clears throat> they ask for our you know what our needs are what the size of our tanks are and so forth and so they're procuring I mean they're procuring fuel for every agency mm -hmm. uh, and so the, the, the magnitude of you know uh, the scale to which we can enjoy versus us going out for the little bit of fuel that we purchase uh, it just it just doesn't compare in this for this particular commodity I mean, all I'm saying is just be aware yep. of that. That's out there. So We've seen yeah, it no. before yeah. when we were purchasing <coughs> carpeting mm -hmm. a couple years ago. Um, we would deal with the OGS prices and then we had our staff yeah. looked into okay. the non OGS carpet installation was cheaper, so we want that. That's the biggest problem. So we kind of do that from time to time. Yeah. That. Any other discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 
Thank you, Robert. All right, thank you. <coughs> Jeff Wright again. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. How are you? Very good. Yourself? Good. Now, let me pass around uh, the revised uh, memo here for the design of the Newburgh Beacon North Span Catwalk and Cable Tray Rehabilitation Project. Um, we put out an RFP, 11 firms picked up, picked up the RFP, one proposal was uh, received from Greenman Peterson, um, the cost of $149,700 uh, for the design of this project, we're recommending uh, to go to GPI, uh, they've done acceptable work for us in the past, um, most recently at the Rip Van Winkle sidewalk rehabilitation. So uh, we do uh, request your approval for that. So moved. Second. Second. Jeff, I mean, is that common to have the only one came back? Well, it's, it's a fairly small project, and I, I believe that's uh, why we didn't get more uh, more bidders. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Next. System-wide street sweeping contract. This is the th third uh, additional year that we can uh, extend this contract, which was initially bid in uh, September of 2013. The uh, uh, contractor is proposing the same price we had for last year, so we're asking for your acceptance. Move, Roger. <laughs> so moved. moved. <laughs> and second. It? Second. Apologize. That's right. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. All right. Aye. Next up is the uh, jobs in progress uh, summary. Um, current jobs at Rip Van Winkle, the sidewalk and railing replacement is 20% complete. Uh, sidewalk panels are currently being poured and will be shipped shortly to the site for installation. Uh, walkway over the Hudson, the railing project uh, completion date remains uh, the end of November, this November, so we're almost done there. Um, the Mid-Hudson Bridge uh, roof rehab for the bridge office has been rescheduled for spring of 2017. We didn't uh, want to push uh, foul weather coming up, especially when we're working over the command center. Um, Newburgh Beacon Bridges. The steel repair shoring contract is uh, continuing. Uh, completion is scheduled for 2017. And the 9W deck raising is currently in design. Move to accept the jobs in progress report. Second. When I see, I looked at Newburgh, they just curious. It says water system. What? The, are, are we on uh, municipal water down there? Or yeah, we are. are. Well? Mm -hmm. We are on municipal water down there. I see. So what's what's happening? What's going on with the water system? Thirteen thousand dollars. I believe there's things we're doing for the uh, washing the bridge and and for our we have a separate well for gaining water to to rinse the bridge off each spring, and part of that is rehabbing that system. That's an in-house capital project that that the guys are working on down there. And you your river? No. <laughs> <laughs> Still got salt down there. <laughs> Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Next, Brian. Financial. Good afternoon. First up is the monthly investment report. There are four investments in the month of October. Uh, a routine nature. Uh, the current balance, everything's re reflected in the investment inventory report. The current balance in the maintenance reserve fund is 46.6 million. Very comfortable place. Uh, interest and yield for September remained fairly constant, or remained constant at 0.92%. It should be noted that in the insurance fund, uh, the last of our investments that were made prior to interest rates dropping, so they were it was made in 2009. Uh, will mature next month and prevailing interest rates right now aren't quite as high as they were in 2009 <laughs> so we should expect to see this number to moderate a bit uh, fortunately interest rates over the last week uh, prevailing interest rates have increased substantially if the market trend continues we might see some higher interest rates even in our bank accounts so. 
So <coughs> move to accept the investment report. Second. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call on the aye. 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 Uh, next up is the budget and financial plan for 2017 through 2020. On September 15th, uh, both committees were provided the board, were pr provided and recommended to the board the uh, budget and financial plan as it exists. It was required by statute to go and make the plan available for public comment for a period of no less than 30 days. Uh, that period has expired. The authority has received no comment on the plan. Uh, it's being put before the board today to form fo formally approve, and with that, we will publish it. Do Brian, let me just add two questions, Brian. I, uh, I don't remember my seat. Um, I noticed that uh, Harry. Harry, yeah. Harry, I'm sorry. Let me just say we got a motion to move it and second, then we have a discussion. Right. Second, please. Second. Okay. Go on, I'm sorry. I noticed there's a significant increase in revenue 2020. Yes. Is that a conscious? Yes. We just we discussed that. Okay. Yes. And secondly, on the uh, uh, um, walk away over the Hudson, we show a $4.5 million equity. We used to call it equity. It's now um, has a different name, book value. Is that, is that our investment or the state's investment? Our investment. We our have that investment. Any capital expense on the walkway structure is ours. We own it. Subject to a review by federal court. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Be higher, okay. It costs us hmm? cost much greater than the 4.5. No, you're talking about when the capital plan is a 4.5 million dollars. Where yes, you're talking about the capital program. The capital that would program. be our That's investment. It's, going it's a we're anticipating that will not be reimbursed. Anticipated capital. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I apologize. It was a separate document. Shows it as a shows a 24 million dollar. Investment. Well, let's just talk about no, this. No, that is the value of to. the asset that when it was given to mm -hmm. us. So, but that's the state's investment. We didn't pay. correct, and yeah. that's what yes. the appreciation right. is okay. after right. owning right. since twenty. So this four point five is uh, anticipated will be a bridge authority. It's a capital yes, project. that's a capital project for non reimbursable. There is currently we are responsible for all expenses okay. associated with the walkway. Now it's not reimbursable. By every, everything at this below point we don't unless Carl wants to front it. Everything below the deck <laughs> is, is our responsibility. Yeah, I know. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Next up is the annual billing from the New York State Employees <laughs> Retirement System. Uh, the current. The year, the bill for the year ending March 31st, 2017, is 1.445 million. Uh, this is a $233,000 reduction, or 13.9 percent, compared to the prior year. Uh, this is the result of more recent market rebound. Uh, the retirement system amortizes assets over five years. It should be noted that weak returns from the March 31st, 2016 year pl plan year uh, will likely end up. Uh, moderating some of these reductions that we've seen unless of course the market takes off this year. So, so move. Second. Second. Questions? No? All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, next up is the quarterly operations report. Uh, more or less. Mm -hmm. uh, toll revenue has been very good. Uh, the increases in traffic and revenue associated with the milder winter weather uh, have been only uh, incrementally added to by favorable traffic we've had obviously not as much as the winter weather but still pretty good when we're up at 5.24 percent 4.92 percent on the revenue uh, expenses are up uh, associated mo largely with uh, the GASB 68 change uh, as discussed just in the prior item the retirement system uh, the returns on the retirement system assets were not so favorable this year the authorities portion of the loss, if you will, or incremental expenditure uh, was the better part of a million dollars, which basically uh, covers most of the difference you see year over year, 2015 to 2016. Uh, with that, uh, this is purely for information purposes. There's no action required by the board. Next up uh, was an incrementally added item to the, to the agenda. This, unfortunately, I apologize, was my mistake. When I brought to the board in uh, October, yeah, that's fine. When I brought to the board last month, the or September, the uh, 
internal control systems auditor resolution, I inadvertently coded the contract number as a one when it should have been a two. Okay, this resolution corrects that error. I inadvertently coded the contract number as a suffix one when it should have been a two. Yeah, Roger brought that to our attention. This is, <laughs> this is pretty serious, Mr. Chairman. We were wondering. <laughs> so moved. Uh, second. Second. All in favor say aye. aye. Again, I apologize for anything. <laughs> Thank you very much. I got a question on the traffic. The was and the, and the traffic uh, <laughs> no, any heavier at any particular time or just in, across the board over the 24 hour period or the weekly period? Does it seem to be built the increase of the little bit we have? Is it more in commuter time or? You know, we're not really, time? I think it's broad based what we're seeing. I think a lot of it, if you look, it's in passenger traffic. Yeah, it's non commuter passenger traffic. Okay. Commuter plan would be really the people who've signed up mm -hmm. for the plan, so that doesn't really differentiate between uh, who is time, day. time of day, that sort of thing. You know, it, it's really mm -hmm. difficult to go and, and completely make an assumption like that without doing a little more kind of detail analysis of who's traveling. You know, we're doing a lot of uh, activities now, and one of the uh, items that you'll see later on as yeah, part of old business is the yeah. AT feasibility study. Uh, we're learning more and more about our traffic patterns. It's, it's pretty clear, though, everybody, at least everybody we've heard from, other agencies in the New York area, everybody's seeing a broad-based <coughs> traffic increase. Okay, it's not, you know, it's not earth shattering. Obviously, the 5% we're seeing is Which a lot. Is good. It's good. Hopefully, it'll last. It, it started back in December 14 when fuel prices dropped, but it's it's been continuing. We've seen a little bit of a hiccup this year in that we've had two months that traffic would declined month to month prior year to current year. Uh, but, you know, it, it's still too soon to say that there's been a, a general trend reversing that. Nope. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you uh, no information technology report, no nope. bridge operations, nope. a report from our executive director. We just have my lack of an expense report and uh, traffic and revenue analysis, easy pass sales analysis report. I'm supposed to just talk in traffic and have nothing more to add to it. Yes, um, as you might have noted in the memo I send to you every month that I'm going to start reporting the um, expenditures coming out of the bank account so that you can see where the money is going. Um, and in regards to my work on behalf of the Historic Bridges of the Hudson Valley, I'm continuing to monitor the um, Skywalk project, the interpretive signage that is being designed for the Rip Van Winkle Bridge, and the Anchorage uh, design work. Any questions for Sarah? No, thank you, Sarah. Sometime maybe could Kathy Burke uh, come to the a board meeting? And so she, would, need to she would welcome that. Mm -hmm. So anytime you have a say. Uh, any other presentations to the board? If not, old business, AEP, feasibility study update. Brian? So, I discussed a minute or so ago. Uh, currently, the authority began at 8 o'clock this morning distributing at all facilities the attached survey. Uh, I'm being told that uh, we're literally seeing several hundred go out an hour. Many, many patrons are choosing to go and take the study, and we received our first uh, survey back redemption, if you will, at 1046 this morning, a little more than two and a half hours <laughs> after we started distributing them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this survey was developed both in, c in conjunction with our consultant who's working on the project for us. Uh, we're, we expect all surveys returned to us or they become void for free passage by December 19th, and we hope to see greater visibility into uh, patron behavior. Any questions? Oh, from the address. Mm -hmm. as well. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Any uh, new business? No. Uh, Attorney-client privilege? 
So we are going to have a discussion, correct? Yes, on the um, what your homework's going to be. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, we're not coming out out of there with any action, so we don't. Right. Yeah. We'll adjourn, adjourn. Our next meeting uh, is December fifteenth, two thousand sixteen, regular time, three p.m. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you. Need, um, call for this.